Well, hello. It's been a while, um, so I thought I'd better upload a video or you will think something terrible has happened to me. Um, I've just been super busy since the since we got back from holidays, basically. Um, I don't know if I've told you this before, I think I have, that I've gone back to work um, at an auction house. So we have auctions you know, every month, so it's constant. There's kind of no letdown. Um, I, my job there is for cataloging, works coming in for the international auctions and doing condition reports for um, both international and uh, Canadian art. And sometimes um, I'm called in to look at other things as well. So it takes um, a lot of time. And I'm also working on a guide. So when I'm not there, um, people will have something to refer to for um, condition reporting and how to handle artwork and all that fun stuff. So I haven't been doing much of my own work because I've been concentrating on that. And so when I say part-time, I say part-time that I'm in the office, um, but I'm also working from home the rest of the time. But I have managed to continue doing um, portrait commissions and things like that um, and getting out when I can um, out to outside or um, meetups for urban sketchers. I don't know, I'll put a link down below if there are urban sketchers, chapters all over the world and they have a symposium once a year. This time it's in Auckland, New Zealand. Um, I won't be going to that, um, but they have meetups, you know, throughout the year in their own chapters. Um, so it's really great. You get to meet up with people who like to sketch in their cities and you talk about um, art supplies and all sorts of things. So it's really nice. There's a show right now that I was um, part of. Amazing, amazing um, work by people in the Toronto chapter. And it was just so nice to see them all displayed. So that's coming down this weekend. So if you're in Toronto, uh, you would have to see it. Well, probably by the time I get around to posting this, it won't be done, but I'm sure there'll be another one. Anyways, so this is kind of an art haul, kind of not. Um, it's just things I've been picking up. I had a, a video up about trying to find a good sketchbook. I'm still in the hunt for that. You'll have seen that I got the speedball one and I'm not entirely liking it. I'm not entirely hating it. Um, it's just not what I'm used to. So it does have this nice little folder in the back, which I don't think I really paid attention to. Anyways, has that in the back. Uh, the paper is quite thin, thin. I think it's a 90 pound. So it does kind of warp, which is fine, but it also makes the, the um, boards for the actual sketchbook cover warp a little bit too. And along with that, um, yeah, it, it's a little wonky. Uh, and it's also very easy to get dirty. I guess this was my tea on, um, the weekend when I was sketching for Urban Sketchers, I think. It could be watercolor, who knows. Uh, so, yeah, not really impressed with the speedball, but it will do for now. I had been working on finishing the Royal Talons, the first one that I ever got, the Art Creations, and I did finish that up recently. So that's just a little picture of my studio wall that's um, 
my husband collects plants. That's in our living room. And just little things. I've been going through um, the website called Unsplash and just like prompting myself to do um, drawings based on those images. They're copyright free. Uh, if you want to use them commercially, I think some of them you do have to pay for, but it's just, I'm just using them as little prompts. So that's what that is, except for obviously the ones that are in my own home. So that got finished on February something or other. So I bought another one and just started this one. It's really just started. Uh, those are a couple sketches that I did at the Urban Sketchers of other Urban Sketchers or people in, it was at Toronto Eaton Center Mall. So that's what that was. And I'm going on another trip. So I got another one of these C. White of Brighton sketchbooks. Uh, you will have seen my, the one I did for New York. And then there's the one that I did for last time. I was in um, Las Vegas. So we're flying into Las Vegas again, uh, but we're heading straight out of there to California, to LA. And so I thought I got a little bit bigger sketchbook just to challenge myself a bit. And like I said in the review before, I'm not, not in love with the paper. It just has a kind of regular pattern that feels like laid paper more than um, regular sketchbook watercolor paper. But it's nice binding. Um, I usually prefer the soft binding of the um, Stillman and Burns. This is one that I bought. I remember um, there was, I don't know if it was a paper sale or a sketchbook sale that Jackson's had. And I ordered, and I ordered too much in a hurry um, because I forgot that this would be the uh, off-white. But it's okay, I'm not, I'm not hating it. I started using it. This was another Urban Sketchers meetup at Toronto Union Station and um, that's the Up Express. So if you're visiting Toronto, this is the part of the station where you can grab a train to go to the airport. And then that was last week, just sitting, um, looking out from the Toronto Reference Library, the main big library in downtown Toronto. So anyways, I'm not hating it. I did a lot of sketching in it this weekend. That was the Toronto Eaton Center one. And uh, it was family day weekend this past weekend. So I did four days of sketching, which I really, really enjoyed. So what else have I got recently? Going back to the art creations, I got the um, 8.3 by 5.8 inch or 21 by 14.8 centimeter sketchbook and it's the same as the other ones the off-white paper it's about the same size a little bit smaller than that C white of Britain or C white of Brighton sorry um so that's just going to be a general kind of um sketchbook because they don't take watercolor too well so you have to be pretty light with your wash so I've been doing more um, using more markers on these and uh, colored pencil and then I got the bigger biggie kind of guy this is a 21 point by 29.7 or 8.3 by 11.7 seven inches, 90 pounds, all of them. Um, so again, you have to be, use water sparingly. So we got that. And then color wise, 
I picked up when I was getting those art creation sketchbooks at Desserts. I picked up three of these. I've been liking these markers. I have them in the um, kind of flesh toned for doing quick um, figure drawings. And so I decided to get a few more uh, with more urban or landscape uh, in mind. So nice greens and uh, yellow ochre. I can swatch those out in a minute. I also have from before um, sort of sky blue. It's a little too on the bright side. It is, um, so these are Tombow water-based ABT. This is 452 and this is 026. 098 and 228 and then as you'll have seen if you've been following me I got uh, a gallows signature uh, set of colors my husband bought me for Christmas and I already had some a gallo colors so I put them all in one. I took out the the carrier that's in this, took it out, and it fits now. Oh, I haven't even counted it. I'll put it I'll I'll pop it up on the screen. But it had a little space for two more, so I ordered those. I got the malachite hue and the dark forest color. And again, I'll swatch those out. And then to add to my travel sketch um, you've seen this before it's why I take with me all around the city and when I go traveling um, I already have these two colors but I keep them at home so I wanted to have an extra two uh, to put in that so I have sepia red 6110 and chocolate 6600. And there's Zoe in the background because she heard me talking. So she'll probably be up here momentarily. Then I got uh, in my last order from Jackson's, I got the Eco Line in kind of fleshy tones. So again, I'll swatch these out and I'll, I'll name them when I do that. There's Kat. So let me cut to that and get some paper and we can swatch them out. So let's swatch out. Let's start with the uh, A Gallo colors. New to me. And here comes Zoe. the malachite hue it's a really nice green it's a little bright uh, for what I normally like but it's nice green and it can be toned down as we all know and this is the one I was really looking forward to the dark forest <laughs> keep going And then for the Derwent drawing pencils, this is how I get fur and everything. Uh, this is the sepia red 6110. Oh, and by the way, I'm using the um, Sea White at Brighton, um, my sketchbook that I used in Las Vegas for this. That's why you'll See, it's not smooth. It is watercolor paper. And that's chocolate. I needed a 
nice dark chocolate to add. And then we will go to the 026 of the Tombow marker. That's a really goldeny ochre color. And then 098. I should mention that they're, they are double um, sided. That's the, the smaller nib. And this is 228. I love this green. This one was kind of a disappointment. I thought this would be more of that color, but it's verging more on um, more of an ochre color. And then we go to the eco line. Now I hadn't been using. I have some eco lines already. I hadn't been using them, um, but I just started going back to them, especially for sketchbooks because. As you probably know, uh, these are dye based, so they're not light fast. Uh, but if you're using them in a sketchbook, it's not a big deal. And you probably know that you can uh, put water on them, but you kind of have to act fast in order to do that. So that's beige. This is pink beige. This is pastel red. Now I thought they would be more it's like more of a Caucasian flesh color. I would like something a little bit darker in the set. Don't know many people who are these colors. And then I just put the two Tombow ones that I got, I put them to show in comparison. This is the 942. So this is the darker of the two. That's why I put a thing of black tape, but then I still couldn't see it. So I put a bit of washi tape on it. So I know that's the darker one. And that's very like this apricot. It's a little not very natural. So I tend to go for this one, but I think between these and then maybe getting out something a little bit darker for darker flesh tone, um, that would be ideal for my little setup. So that's basically it. Uh, the other couple things that I've got um, during that sale, the paper sale at Jackson's, I got their little magazine about uh, paper. So they give you some specs for the paper, but also really interesting on how paper is made, um, how you get watermarks, like the Saunders Waterford. Um, and that kind of goes back to the guide that I'm creating for the auction house. Um, so how paper is made, it's really good to have an understanding of how artwork is made in order to see um, things such as condition issues and how to take care of things, how to handle them safely, how to store them safely so that you get as much time out of an artwork as possible. So it's a really handy guide. They had it on, uh, I think it was two pounds or something. I ended up paying four Canadian, four something Canadian. So that was good. And the other thing that I got 
for my travels after um, not finding anywhere proper to sit when we were out uh, at the Eaton Center. I got this little stool, a pop-up uh, thing. I just got it on Amazon. I have a uh, like patio chair, fold-up patio chair, because that's sometimes too much, um, especially depending where you are, security might take exception to it. It's also bulky on you and you may decide not to bring it with you. But I did think this was a little bit smaller than it is, I don't know. It showed it fitting in the palm of your hand, <laughs> as in um, this big. But um, yeah, I think I'll do. I don't think I'll be bringing it to California with me. Um, it is just a little bit too big for that. But um, hopefully there will be park benches or somewhere to sit. Uh, I do have this thing, which is light and it's foam so that you can sit down without mucking yourself up. It doesn't really give you that much comfort, but it does a little bit. So that's easy to pack. It's still a little bulky, but it's super light. So I may, I may or may not bring that with me as, as well. That's another uh, Amazon purchase. So that's about it. You know, I'm still alive and well. Um, Zoe's still alive and well and creating havoc. And I will probably be back uh, with my sketches from California. Hopefully I get a lot of time to do that. I am with my husband, so it's, who doesn't sketch. So it is a little harder when you're with someone who's not sketching to like sit. He's very active, um, wanting to go here and there. So I don't tend to get much time. That's one of the reasons why I pack these little sketchbooks um, so I can quickly get a sketch done. And I better go because that's Zoe telling me that she wants some food. Okay, uh, follow along. I'll be posting while I'm away. Um, I'm still posting, um, if not daily, somewhat daily. Um, sketches and my artwork and you can follow me on Instagram at Eileen Riley Arts and um, as usual I will have I'll do a little um, a PDF of this so that you have it on um, my website where I have the rest of my color charts so I'll try to remember to do that all right thanks so much bye